Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we've installed quite a few digital walls. Even though the price has come down, a lot of people ask me, AJ, is there any way that we can just buy a bunch of TVs at a store and then put them together to make our own digital wall? Honestly, I know that was an option, but I just never got a chance to mess with anything or had any gear to actually do anything. Well, that was until Ori sent me another one of their great products. This is the Ori, and I need to get the name right, the UHD 14 VU. This is a one in, four out, USB-C, HDMI video wall controller. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what's inside. And I actually bought another monitor. So that's why I'm looking right here. So I have a bigger monitor so I can see what's going on. But that is the same as these three monitors here. So they're all for the same type. And that's what we're gonna use to hook this up. But let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what is inside. Again, um, Ori sent this to me free of charge. They're not paying for this review outside of giving me to this product. Um, the opinions are my own. We're gonna let this stand on itself and they are seeing this the exact same time that you are. They did not tell me what to say or none of that good stuff. Really like Ori, we've been working with them for two plus years now. So I'm really excited that they still send me stuff and um, trust me to do reviews and a lot of y'all like their stuff and I use them on most of my installs. All right, so we got the box here. Get rid of this plastic and let's get this plastic label here. All right, so let's punch in a little bit so you can see. All right, so as you can see right here, we have our HDMI, USB-C and auto power button infrared reader, we got our label here, and it supports 4K60, wow. Um, we have our select buttons mode resolution. Let's flip it on over to the back, and I'm really liking this much bigger monitor that I can actually see. So we have our input here. So one input will come in or a USB-C. That's gonna be interesting. I wonder how, Maybe I can hook up one of these cameras that have USB-C out and hook it up. But anyway, we also have um, audio out, um, left and right, that's a 3.5 millimeter, and we have four HDMI outs. We have a RS-232 connector and um, IR external, and then we got power. This is gonna be very interesting. Let's see what else we got inside of here. Let's punch out. And we have our regular power stuff. We got a our power plug, our RS-232 adapter, our IR blaster and receiver, our US power plug. Let me put all this stuff in here. Go ahead and connect this up. All right, we got a remote. And we have some little tails or ears, whatever you want to call that you can mount this. Now, it looks like they screw in right here. And this would be like you set it in the bottom of a rack or something like that. Yeah. And then we also have um, free extended warranty. We got our manual here, which I will set aside because I have been way too guilty of messing with stuff and not realizing, AJ, if you had just read the manual, you would have got your answer. All right, as much as I try and clean up my space down here, I am very limited in what I'm gonna do and I gotta disconnect all these monitors to get this stuff to work. Um, so we're gonna take this upstairs, but let's see. What else we got? I mean, really seems straightforward. So anyway, let me go ahead and disconnect all this other stuff and maybe I can put them on the floor or we're gonna have to use a lot of space here on this desk and maybe I can do it here and I wanna see what this will look out. So let's go ahead and set this up and y'all will be right back once we get it set up. Alrighty, so after <laughs> sorting out which one is which and getting my camera looking at my Bose headset. Let's show you what it all looks like. 
So there you go. Now, again, one of the issues that people would have with this is you see these bevels. Now, these, these um, three monitors here actually are different. As much as I thought they were the same, they're not. This has the smaller bevel, which kind of matches this. So these three are actually the same, but this one isn't. But the idea is if you got something like this, you would want to use the um, thinnest bevel that is possible. And most of those would be like professional grade screens that you would get. And they do cost a little bit more, but it would provide you with the option of doing something um, to where it has a thinner bezel. And you're still gonna see a line, like right here, this is the thinnest one here, but honestly, the mind, after it sees it for a while, it really won't see that. Like you see this in airports and stuff like that all the time. So what's another thing that I can hook up here? I don't have anything that's close enough for me to really hook up anything. Let me actually bring my laptop now that I think about it. And let me just go ahead and hook up something here so that we can actually play. And maybe we'll put up um, scripture or something using presenter or pro presenter or something. Let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so there we go. We actually have this outputted from pro presenter doing a graphic that shows up in here. So again, I don't have a wall to hang all of this. So again, this is the best I could do laying all my monitors here, but that's kind of a cool setup. Let's go ahead and bring up a scripture just to see what it looks like. Well, actually, let me bring up some of my slides that I have on here. So if we were doing a presentation, see, it can show up like that. And let's go ahead and bring up a scripture. Let's do the 23rd Psalms. And let's go ahead and pick a nice background with some of the most interesting stuff that I can bring up here. Um, so we'll bring uh, and we'll bring that up. So again, this is one of those things that you can see that if you really, really wanted to have something and then one of these nine by six, six by six, um, I mean, nine foot by six foot digital walls that are coming in around like eight grand, if that's still outside your budget, you could try with this. Now, just realize there is gonna be a compromise. Like we said, you are gonna have the bevel that you're gonna have to live with that's cutting in between the different monitors. But again, um, there's gonna be compromises with this because obviously the bevel, and it's one of those things that you wanna trade off with. So it is very easy for you to go and buy mounts for, you know, 450s, 55, 65, 75s. I would hope, I mean, well, if you go with 485s, you're almost borderline where a digital wall would be. But again, if you really, really, really want to do a digital wall, and you know you just have to live with the bevels, or like I said, you could go for the professional um, commercial grade televisions that you see like in airports and stuff where they do this. This is a nice option, and it supports up to 4K, which is really cool. Now, uh, I, like I said, I've installed quite a few digital walls before, and you're talking about just the equipment itself is going for around like 9,000, let alone what it costs for the shipping, the setup, the extra materials, and all this other stuff. Now, if you're trying to save some money, this might be the option for you because you can get the UHD 14 VW from Ori outside of the cables, the HDMI, and the displays. This will set you back $150. If you really want a digital wall, you get the monitors, please make sure you get the exact same one, unlike me in this setup, get the exact same one, but for $150 and you just gotta deal with the, the, the bezel that's around the screen, you can have yourself a big digital wall um, with the mounts and everything like that. This is awesome. Aura, thank you so much. I've had so many people ask about this 
And this is really cool that there is an option now, and it is a very, very, very affordable option that can do this. So for $150, you can get yourself a digital wall. That is awesome. And I'm repositioning this so I can have myself a nice thumbnail picture for this. Link is down below if you wanna get one of these things. And if you do, please email me and send me a picture of what you got set up um, with it. Go ahead and email um, info at ajhelms.com, a picture of this. And this is really awesome. We're gonna be holding on to this for a little bit. Not that I have any, I would love to have um, four 55s or 65s and hook the PlayStation up to this. That would be sick. But anyway, um, we're gonna be holding on to this for a while. This might be one of those things I just keep in the inventory to do as a giveaway. You just never know. But again, link is down below if you're interested in getting one of these. And all right, thank you so much for keep pushing the limits on the tech that you got and then giving me the opportunity to send this stuff and then check it out and review it and bring it to my audience and maybe this might be something nice to hook up with your church, fellowship hall, or even if you want to have it at your house. <laughs> so um, if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later. Later.